Hi, this is Mario Vanyard, and we're here with usctrojans.com. It is picture day for the beach volleyball team, coming off an undefeated season. Let's catch up with some of the girls. So April, tell me, what's it like putting this jersey on for the first time? It was so exciting to put it on for the first time, and I'm so excited for a season to start, and just to get out here and start season and start competing against all the other schools. Can't wait. Here with my future roommate, Jenna Belton. Um, I just got one question for you. I know you don't like getting your makeup done, so what was it like working with uh, Moral Norman? Um, it was good. They did a really good job. I didn't have to do it, so that's good, because I don't know how. <laughs> she usually does mine for me, so. <laughs> This is the infamous Alexa Strange with her blue Uggs and her natural attire. So Lex, how did the uh, headshots go earlier today for the photos? Um, they went really good. This was my last time getting a headshot as a senior, so kind of bittersweet, but overall really fun. Do you have any fun ideas for your senior photo? Um, you know, I'm kind of leaving that in the hands of our graduate students, and I'm just going to kind of go with it. I'm go not too it. good at that stuff. So. <laughs> Here we are with Kelly Clays and Sarah Hughes. Guys, tell me about some of the uh, goals you have for this season coming in. Um, well, our main goal is to win the first NCAA National Championship um, and to win every single match that we compete in this season. Great, and so what are some of the challenges you guys are going to face coming off of a 28-0 season last year? You know, we lost some key players last year, so I think this season's really fighting, trying to find a connection with other players and other teams. So right now we're working really hard on trying to find who fits in really well with each other. So right now everyone's playing their hardest in practice, and Anna will decide who will pair up together. Anna, yep. how are we feeling about this season? Well, first of all, I think we're beautiful. I think that the picture day is going amazingly, and that is always a good way to start off the season. If we can have a good picture day, feel good about ourselves, it really helps so that when we start training, we've already got all this behind us. We have our posters out. People are getting aware of our team, and we're just so excited to start. We started training our 20 hours just recently, and uh, first week I was like, ooh. We need some work, but I guess that's to be said for any team coming out. But now in our second week, I'm really excited about the improvement and we're working on new things and different things because we had a great season, but now we're gonna try and really push that envelope and really push this team to another level. So after this preseason training and the workouts you guys are going in right now with 20 hours, what do you think this team has that the other team maybe didn't last year going into this season? That's a great question because I think we do have a couple of things. Number one, I think we have a team culture that is so tightly knit together. I really believe that regardless if you're making the one team, the five team, or perhaps you're going to have to sit and be on the six or seven team. I think everyone believes in each other and I think that's a huge piece. Secondly, I think uh, we have a really good coaching staff, good support system with our strength and conditioning, bringing in the USA national team coach with Ali Lambertson, a gold medalist with Dane Blanton. You know, I'm, I'm pretty much going to sit over here on the sideline and go, have at it coaches. <laughs> so I think that's something that we have too, is a really elite coaching staff. And then third, I believe strongly we have the best athletes. And you take those, all that, put it in a mixer and spit it out and it speaks to success.